Let's talk about the new Cradled in Ice collection from Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm always so excited for their next collection because I really feel like they've been on a roll. They've, their collections have always been so well thought out and I was so excited to see a dragon eyeshadow palette and I love that it's not the typical like fiery dragon which I wouldn't be surprised if we do see that in the future. So this collection is based on a Cerule dragon. There's a little detailed note card that you get that explains everything about the dragon, the wings, the hatching and everything. And for the first time ever, we're getting brushes and oh my goodness, are they beautiful and so, so soft and fluffy. So actually let's talk about this first. There's some eye brushes as well as some face brushes, you can probably tell. And one of them, the F03 is such an interesting shape. I really cannot wait to use it probably as a blush but also for like contour and or bronzer it feels so soft and these are all synthetic and i can't wait to set my face with this one and then of course some eye brushes and that shape that we saw with the face brushes actually has a smaller version for the eyes so i'm really 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 excited to try that one out and then there's also four single eyeshadows they do not come in this empty pan i just i just put them in here so i could hold them up and have them organized and kind of put together this empty palette is from Kripteen cosmetics i will link them down in the description box so these are all holographic i'm currently wearing this shade Iva on my lid and then on the inner portion I'm wearing Borea. And then of course we have the Cradled in Ice eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness, beautiful artwork. It was done by the owner's husband, which is so cool to see. You might have already noticed it is a larger eyeshadow palette. So there are 12 eyeshadows instead of nine. This is the first time they're launching a larger palette. And I love, love, love this color story. It is such a knockout. I love the pink in here, the periwinkle, the dark blue, and then of course some browns. I really feel like they help ground the color story. I feel like there's so many looks that you can create with this palette. And there's five shimmers in here, four of them, super beautiful, very dimensional three of them extra sparkly and delicious and i was sent this collection in pr so thank you so so much for sending it over to me so i could try it out and i do have an affiliate code with the brand which i'll put up on the screen in case you're interested in any of the new items or any of the existing items and if you do use my code thank you so much for supporting me let's get into some of the details so this is launching may 16th at 9 a.m pst the palette is going to be 44.99 the bundle of the four single shadows is going to be 54.99 or you can get them individually at 14.99 each then there's also two gel multi-chrome dragon scales that are launching. I do not have those with me as it's not really a product I use and those will be at $36.99 for the pack or $19.99 per gel pot. And then the brush set of 10 is going to be $135.99 or you can get the eye brush, which is six pack for $59.99 or the face brush four pack for $86.99. And then you can also get the brushes individually, which I'm not gonna get into all those prices, but you can definitely check that information out on the Fantasy Cosmetica Instagram, sign up for their emails, go on their website and I'm going to be showing you individual swatches of each of the shimmer shadows first and then I'll create two looks and I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video so let's get right into it. Frederick is a holographic greenish silver shifting purple super smooth so it doesn't feel squishy or anything like that it feels more like a regular metallic shadow. Nami is another hollow shadow it is a little bit lighter it's got a bluish purple reflect to it and it shifts just a little bit yellowy orange very smooth but not quite like shiny and sparkly similarly to frederick iva is a orangey red more like a mid-tone it is a hollow as well it feels like the same texture as the previous two shades so it is not particularly shiny or metallic or sparkly but it is a very smooth and it has just a maybe tiny bit of a shift. Boreas has a little bit of a yellowy orange leaning base. It is green straight on with a bit of blue shifting to purple, especially really can see the green on this angle. Frost has a light brown base. I see green and blue kind of straight on and then it shifts to a purple. Snuggle is a duochrome that has a beautiful mauve base that has a little bit of a purpley plummy shift. Straight on, I see a bunch of flux throughout it, so it's a little hard to pinpoint exactly the color. I would say it's a little bit greenish leaning, very smooth. Treasure is a mid-tone silver with pink flux throughout it. Crystal has a yellowy orangey base with a little bit of warmth of brown in it, shifting purple, very beautiful blue straight on. Embrace is a dark plum with silvery pink flux throughout it and feels very smooth, but not particularly. Dipping into a door, I'm going to put that right in the crease, but really trying to keep it in the crease here. 
gonna wipe off this brush and I'm gonna go into hatchlings. I'm gonna blend that on the edges of that. Then I'm taking a layer and putting that on the outer corner. Super, super pigmented. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm gonna take it a little bit underneath my little lash line as well. And then I'm gonna wipe off this brush best that I can. I'm gonna take patchlings and I'm just gonna put that right in the edges. And also use it to kind of blend this out. Definitely have a little bit of fallout. Yep, snuggle. And I'm just gonna put that all over. This is a great topper like shade, so it will really take on. It has a base to it. It will bring up the mauve undertone of it. But if you pair this with the blues, you might see the blue reflect a bit more. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of frost as my inner corner highlight. I'm just using my pinky. And here's the first finished look. Picking up Nest and popping it onto the outer corner. Just kind of laying it down and wringing it just a little bit into the crease and just blending as I go. Just adding a little bit more out here and on their lower lash line. Picking up Glacial and that is so much darker than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. So I'm gonna bring that and I'm taking that on the edges and just really blowing it out. And then I'm gonna wipe off this brush and I'm picking up Frozen. And I'm just gonna put that on the very edge. On the very edge. As well as in here. Just blending everything together. Which is blending so nicely. Picking up Crystal, look at that shine. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm just gonna tap it all over the lid. This one has a little bit of grittiness to it, like I can feel it when I'm putting it down. I can feel it on my finger and on my lid just a little bit. It is so sparkly, so dimensional. It does have a shift, super beautiful. Here's the second finish look. I haven't used the face brushes, so I'll keep you updated on my thoughts on those. I feel like brushes in general are just something that I really feel like you need to use a few times to really get a good feel on how you're going to like to use the brush. I am particularly excited for the F03. It's such an interesting shape. I feel like I've seen something like this before, but I can't quite put a finger on it, but I'm definitely very excited to try that one out. So for the eye brushes, same thing. I definitely need to try these out quite a bit more, but I have tried three of the brushes so far. When I saw the E02, I was so, so excited. This is a really great small teensy tiny blending brush very excited to have that one in my collection and then the EO6 was a really great brush to put down some shimmer as for the EO5 it is definitely a really large blending brush and it's a little bit large for my personal liking so I'll probably use it as a highlighter brush and then I'm so intrigued to use the EO4 it is rather large so I'm interested to see what kind of looks I can create with it. It will probably end up being pretty blown out kind of looks. I would love to see an even smaller version of this. I feel like that has quite a bit of potential. And then I still have yet to try the EO1 and EO3, which I think these are small and these are going to be great, especially the EO3 for applying shimmers on the lid. So onto the single shades, these three right here, I have this one right now on the lid. I feel like it's not particularly shiny or sparkly. It's a little bit more on the cusp of being like a satin and the holographic pigment is not very obvious. It's very subtle. So if you prefer a more subtle hollow effect, then these are definitely something to consider if you don't want anything too like chunky or sparkly and just too holographic. And then the shade Boreas is a little bit different. It's definitely shinier. It's more topper-like and I have this one on the inner portion. So onto the palette, love this color story. I feel like it's a really nice cohesive but fun color story. I feel really inspired to want to use this. I really want to create more looks with this. I am obsessed with the shade Frost. I mean, it is so beautiful and I hate using the word obsessed. I know how everyone feels about it, but I 
I mean, it is such a spicy neutral. It has so many flecks throughout it. It is a center, definitely more of a topper-like shade. And then Treasure is also really stunning, a little bit less dimensional, definitely a little bit like kind of one-sided, but it is so beautiful. I love that it's in here. It's definitely a bit more on the icy side. And then Crystal is also a super dimensional, more neutrally brown-based leaning shade. I do think that Frost and Crystal look a little bit similar. The main difference being that Crystal does have that like almost brownish base to it. So, so that does make them different from each other. So I think those are really like the standout shades in this palette for sure. And then Snuggle as well as Embrace, they're a little bit more on the just like smoother side. They're a little bit less sparkly, but they're still really beautiful. So also Frost, Crystal, and Snuggle do have just a little bit of give to them when you really push down in the pan. So I definitely want to see how these wear for me, but as long as they're not literally like putty in the pan, then they will not crease as quickly. They might still crease, but it might take a little bit and I don't mind just blending it out throughout the day. But overall, really, really enjoying this palette. And I'm really curious to see if they are going to keep this palette layout for future launches. So let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite, but also are you going to be picking any of this up? Are you interested in anything? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.